some of you guys have been asking for a nice truck tour. So today, we're gonna to take you on a tour of an SWI Fencer's truck. Okay, so before we get too far into this video, you're gonna to have to look past this part right here. I know, I know some guys, okay, I know all guys are very opinionated on what particular truck is the best. This is just where we like to hang out. As you can see, we took off the original stock bumper and we gave this thing just a little bit of protection. What we have here is we just have a ranch hand bumper and we like them because it offers protection of the vehicle because we, we travel so many miles. I mean, we cover the whole entire state of Wyoming. So that's a lot of miles that we put on these trucks. I like this tow hook right here because I can use it to attach a chain walker to for a stretch point. And I used it just the other day. A light bar for additional light when traveling at night looking for deer. This bed right here is a Bessler bed. It is made by Bessler and it is what a pleasure it is to work out of. Obviously, could you work out of any kind of a any kind of a truck? Yes. I will go ahead and just tell you that this is definitely a luxury, but it is extremely beneficial because it cuts time down as far as it helps us to stay organized, helps us keep track of tools, and it makes our job a lot more efficient. Everything that I'm going to show you throughout this video of the truck tour, it's on the truck because I use it. And here I just have my wrenches, all my gear wrenches hanging back here. Bessler gives you some nice wrench holds there. We put a little adhesive mat back here. So when you're driving down the road, these wrenches hit this mat and you can't hear the wrenches hit that metal box. It's a lot less annoying. Uh, I think that's really the only modification, the only mod that we did. So this is just where I keep all my, my socket set, my gear wrenches, tape measures, speed squares. The torch is really good for heating up conduit for gate operators thawing out some locks, and it's just a good thing to have. Tap and die set. Here they give you, they give you one of these on each side of the truck. Uh, they give you a nice bottom of the box, which includes two full-size drawers, one deep set, and then one shallow set. And then you also have back there where you can store stuff underneath there. This is my tool storage well, for all my cordless tools. In here we have all the tools that we use to get the jobs done. Um, some tools we have are multiples, such as I do carry two different size bandsaws. I carry a deep cut and I carry more of a compact bandsaw, two quarter inch impacts and two drills. Another thing that I have on the truck is a cordless router for doing any kind of vinyl routing or tying into other vinyl fences. The only kind of vinyl fences that we will tie into is our own fences. We will not tie into somebody else's fence. Also on here, they give you two boxes. A box here and a box here. This one's really nice. I'm able to store the rest of my DeWalt stuff and a hard hat and a pair of muck boots. The handles that they give you on these beds are really nice because they're they're not so small and they're not super tight. They're nice, easy to grab and turn and twist. This here is kind of like the rescue me bin. And there we have a jack, jumper cables, and a toe strap. So this side of the truck is, is more hands-on, more power tools, more hand tools. This side of the truck, we have all the same exact bins again. So. What we have set up here is we have all of our other hand tools for chain link fence or uh, sledgehammers, some, some rail notches for vinyl fence. I've got some bins set up for all the auger teeth for replacing teeth on the auger because we go through those quite a bit. DOT, because there is a DOT number on the side of the truck. Here's my triangles that, you have, that you're required to have. In here, I just carry all my tire chains, uh, concrete tools, because it is so big, that's where I haul my foot dresser at for chain link. It's so big, but also it's in with all the right stuff because the concrete tools have sharp edges and I don't want that foot dresser to be able to damage anything or pop a paint can. In this bin here, I carry a whole case of, uh, whole case of marking paint at all times. So that way I never run out and it's always there. I carry an extension cord and for all the operators that we deal with, we like to carry the continuous loop slings. 
Um, I've got additional backup bandsaw blades back behind here. And one thing that we ran into and we started doing a few years ago is carrying extra hydraulic fittings for our machines. That's a huge time saver because we've gotten to spots before where uh, we got to our destination and it was a rural remote area, a fitting broke and we had to travel about two hours to go replace, replace that fitting. Typically what we do is we put those in the skid steers, but we like to keep them in more of a dust free area. I have designated this kind of like this whole area to be my gate operator side and my hardware side. So these Milwaukee packs, they fit in that bin really nice. I carry two of these. One is a hardware set and the other one is strictly for gate operators. But the one on top is nothing but Wagos and butt splices and stuff like that for gate operators. They give you some more wrench holds up here and everything else in this bin is a multimeter and anything that I would use on a gate operator install or a service for a gate operator. And behind door number 43, yet again, they gave you two more drawers that fully extend. You can get, but you can store stuff on the bottom there and back out in between. This is like sparesies and just in cases. And then screwdrivers, screwdrivers stay on the very bottom, screwdrivers and chisels. Bessler does give you a removable tailgate. It's not hinged, it has two pins. So up here at the very front of the bed, that's the Bessler bed, uh, just some more stuff that I carry around with me. I do carry one corded grinder with me. In my T-stack box, I have all my welding gear, such as my helmet and my protective vest and all that stuff. Uh, two fish tapes and all the other stuff that I would need to do my daily job. Also in this box on the back side and underneath it is, I think it's about a 60 gallon fuel tank. So this is how we get fuel in the truck or into the equipment. This particular one is made by Better Built. This is where you'd fill the fuel tank up at and these are reversible so you can put either side. And this is just the side that we have plumbed in for the pump. We run nothing but green diesel in this and not red. Again, because it is a DOT vehicle, that is the location for the fire extinguisher that we have chose because there is limited space on this bed to mount a fire extinguisher because it has so many awesome compartments. We carry a six foot level, the good old bush pig with us, uh, a rake, post hole rammer, two digging bars, and some shovels. And the last thing is we have our string line and up here we have stakes for the string line. Uh, now this whole tray system that we kind of created, it serves two things. It's to keep the stakes from rolling around the bed of the truck, but also when you're backing up to a trailer and if you're backing up by yourself, um, it's a bumper to keep the front of that trailer, the neck of that trailer from puncturing the fuel tank. That's just to save all is what it is. And this is welded directly to the bed of the truck. It's always good to carry around a baseball with you or some sort of ball. That way if you get stuck on the road, you have something to do. We equip all of our trucks with hazard lights because if we're working near a road, it's always best to let people know we're there and some of our commercial jobs require them such as airports. The lights that we put on this truck came from STL, which is Speed Tech lights. They're all surface mount except for the one on the top of the cab. That one's a magnetic mount. With this setup, we got a switch box with a wireless remote and the switch box stays under the hood and the remote is wireless so you don't have to run any cords through the through the firewall of the pickup. It's a lot easier for the install. Up top we have our magnetic mount, a surface mount here, four surface mounts on the back and four surface mounts on the front. <laughs> Hurry up, I'm cold, wrap it up. So anyways, you guys were asking for a truck tour and we finally had a minute and we wanted to take you to, on a tour of the truck. Have a good day.